So Specialist Stern starts in 2004 in Denmark. The founder is Torkel Sohn. He has three sons, and his youngest son, Lars, has autism. And he notices Lars has a real fine attention to detail things. Now, Lars's attention is primarily focused on trains, but still really focused on detail. And like many parents with children with autism, he thinks to himself, what happens to my son when he's old enough to enter the world of work? So he's thinking beyond the childhood issues, which are clear. I mean, we all have to work to, to make our kids with autism succeed. But what about when they become adults? What about when some of those supports from education go away? What do we do? So Torkel starts thinking, you know, many people with autism exhibit these kind of real uh, a fascination, an interest, uh, comfort with detail, detail-rich information. And he thinks, you know, in my job in a telecommunication company, that's the kind of person we're always looking for and can't seem to get enough of. He convinces them to start hiring people with autism. He has this idea of saying, what if we leverage these skills of autism, these really specific job detailed skills, what if we leverage them in the world of work? Because that's a need. Detail-oriented people, particularly in IT, are desperately in demand. So he quits his job, and his company that he quits becomes his first client. And they begin to look for people with autism who are interested in the IT field, mostly high-functioning people with autism, but people who can speak, but they struggle in the world of work because they can't make that first entree, right? So we see so many people with autism, they struggle in the world of work, not because of lack of technical skill, lack of ability, lack of knowledge. It's because in the first 30 seconds of their job interview, they're just not very impressive. So Torkel says, let's get those people into our business, and then we'll, we'll consult them out. We'll do the work in selling them, as a consultant agency and they'll do the technical work. This idea has spread around the world and then in a, a couple of years ago we finally got it to start here in the United States. Clearly its benefit to people with autism is it takes away some of the difficulties that they had in the initial interaction of describing their level of skill in the workforce in a concise way that would get them hired. So um, about three years ago, maybe three and a half years ago, some folks in Minnesota start to reach across the Atlantic to say, hey, Torkel, I think your idea would have legs in the United States. Have you ever thought about it? So eventually they convince him to start. And for one of his visits, he comes here to Minnesota and Fargo. We're in Fargo because, again, the idea seems so obvious and seems so interesting. And, and everyone says, what a great idea. But Fargo has a place like the Ann Carlson Center, and Fargo has companies, IT companies, an IT community that said beyond just that's a great idea, they said, we'll, we'll hire you, we'll pay for that, we'll invest in that. And the difference between a lot of places in Fargo is that Fargo's got a real entrepreneurial streak. And the people in, at Ann Carlson Center and uh, the leadership and the board at Ann Carlson Center and uh, the people in the IT community said, you know what, we'll, we'll go beyond saying this is a great idea, we'll fund it. We'll get it started. We want it here. We think that it should, we want to lead on this. So we want to not just lead on developing good services for all people with autism, but we want to lead on developing a workplace environment that allows people with autism to thrive. Because at the heart of Specialist Stern isn't just employing people with autism. That's a great thing. At the heart of Specialist Stern is changing the world of work.